November 15th, 1990 For Sula Prayers I will celebrate your love forever, Yahweh. Age after age my word shall proclaim your faithfulness. For I claim that love is built to last forever and your faithfulness founded firmly in the heavens. The footnote reads, Psalm 89, verse 1 and 2. Fasula says, But now a Greek Orthodox theologian is attacking me and hounding your messages. O Lord, show them that you are my help and consolation, and that only through your great love you have saved me and others. The Lord speaks. Vasula of my sacred heart. The footnote reads, Jesus made it a point to call me this way because the name Sacred Heart is not Greek Orthodox. My Holy Spirit has been your guide, so do not pay attention to the theologian's conclusions. Pray that she too may receive the Spirit to understand that human reckonings and human doctrines made a devastating desert out of my church. Vasula speaks, Lord, she is shocked to have read in your messages that you are like a beggar, begging for our love. The Lord speaks, Has she not read? Happy those servants whom the Master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, He will put on an apron, sit them down at table, and wait on them. The footnote reads, Luke 12, verse 37. I am known not only as omnipotent, majestic, and a God of justice, but as a most tender father, and only those moved by my spirit will call me Abba. I am a God full of pity, and my mercy is boundless. Vasula speaks, Lord, she is profoundly disturbed about this intimacy I have with you. She calls it sweet and sentimental. The Lord speaks, She has not penetrated my wounds to understand. Had she penetrated my wounds, she would have understood that these wounds were given to me out of love for her. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. And you are, all of you, my friends. I have laid down my life out of love. But daughter, this is the cross I have charged you with. Remember, I am bearing it together with you, to unite you. The footnote reads, The Churches. Justice will have to intervene. My Vasula, I am with you always to the end. Do not be afraid then, and disconsolate. I knew, my angel, all along that these people would hound you. Like hunters, each one would pull out his weapon and pursue you, because I am sending you to a people not your own. The leaders of your nation shall persecute you and deject you, and treat you as they please, because what I have given you to carry in your hand is not a man's teaching, but mine. And since my language and my teachings do not penetrate them, they would disagree, and they will treat you as an imposter. I have told you already that the world will condemn you, but even when they are condemning you, declare to the world what you have learned from me. Daughter, if my language cannot be understood by the world, it is because that their doctrine is not grounded in the truth, which is love. I have deported you from Egypt to a people not your own, to unite my church, but no one yet knows the whole way to unity, and no one yet has grasped the outsetting of my plan. They have not yet recognised the path I am preparing for them to tread. The theologians and the philosophers have not yet found the key to unity that wisdom holds. I speak, but they do not take in what I say. Only my own take in what I say. I know them, and they know me. 
so my Vasula, do your work before the appointed time. I have entrusted you with my cross. Bear it with love. Soon there is going to be a time of great distress, unlikened to any other. But soon after that, a fountain will spring from my house to water this desert. So courage, daughter, bear this bar across your shoulders with love, and nothing will go in vain. If clay washes away with the first drops of rain, your soul remains forever. The footnote reads, In other words, if you who are but dust and ashes die, your soul is immortal. So death is swallowed up in victory. Love is near you to guide you, so beware of these philosophers and theologians. The more severe will be the sentence they receive. Bless me and love me as I have taught you to love me intimately, but never forgetting that I am holy.